How can Ronald Rad be strong enough uh, to transfer his artistic uh, gesture into objects? You can do many things and employ the same curiosity, the same experience, the same vision, whether you do a piece of uh, completely non-functional art or whether you put your uh, attention on something as small as a wine glass. Um, it is, I always uh, suffer this question about uh, different fields, the different disciplines. Personally, I'm not interested. I'm not even interested in bridging the gap between them because I don't see the gap. This collection has unusual shapes, but uh, it is uh, as if uh, that have uh, always existed. So, why, in your opinion? I mean, in the case of, of the red or white, it is simply putting together almost a traditional glass for red uh, wine and, and a glass for white wine together, but when the white is serving, the red is the base, and the other way around is about observing. I am not an expert on wine, uh, but I always notice when I go to formal dinners, there's too many glasses in front of me. <laughs> so this is the red and you know, you can, I'm doing it to save space. It's not that I'm very practical, but I quite like the idea. And, and a decision that is sort of quasi practical uh, results in something that has its look and its appearance and people People enjoy using it and they'll tell you how. Architecture gave a new image to wine, now design. Is it an evolution? When you set out to design something, you have all the things that existed before as your, in, your, in your tool bag, in your memory. It's all useful, everything that happened until Yesterday, four o'clock in the afternoon, is available for you to, to use. It's called knowledge. And, of course, you don't want to repeat. You don't want to do the same again. So, for me to do something, I have to have something that's sufficiently new to be interested in it. So, if we take the knowledge of everything that happened until now, plus, the unstoppable wish to do something new, maybe that's where what you can call evolution, something evolved so what was there before to what it is now and, and who knows what's coming next. I can tell you that having worked on this and having met the people in the factory, that the artisans, uh, having watched them using their uh, big experience, it gives you lots of ideas of what else you can do. Maybe that's evolution. Hand and body dialogue with nude. It is a very physical, anthropomorphic, ethereal collection. What about this relationship between lightness and physicity? It depends what you want to do. I mean, it, sometimes uh, lightness is the objective and sometimes it's the opposite sometimes the heaviness is the objective I think every every object every project has a different set of objectives of what it wants to achieve and that's how you can assess it I have some uh, very heavy glasses that I enjoy that I got, someone gave it to me in Spain and it has like a lot of glass and a lot of base and very little and I quite like the heaviness. It's by no means light, but it didn't want to be light. And sometimes I enjoy something that is so light. How do they make it so light? So I'm sorry, there's no rules and there's no answer to your question number four. Love and two in one are within this collection. How much is it erotic? What do you think? A lot. 
Well, two in one. You know, it's it's enough. It's very good that that you have something in front of you and you can make extrapolation and interpretation, and you have your own association. Um, I think it's very boring if, if it is prescribed. If you do something that uh, forces you to think of uh, eroticism, or that is, I think it becomes pornograph pornography if it's like, I don't know, but erotic. So I think, I think uh, I'm very happy that uh, your interpretation of everything is uh, the one you have, if you enjoy it. Is there a sacred inspiration? You're talking to the, the person probably the least religious or the least spiritual that we're ever likely to meet. Uh, you know, the most humane and friendlier, blah, 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 but I'm not... The word sacred and things, uh, I don't use them. They're not useful to me. Sorry. To conclude, what about transparency and the quality of this collection to mirror light with or without wine. I think that uh, glass is a very seductive material. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, that trans transparency, the way it refracts light is fantastic. I, I used to think that you cannot do ugly things in glass. I realize I'm very wrong. Look around you, you can do a lot of ugly things with glass. But the material is amazing. Even when it's broken, it's beautiful. Um, it's, uh, and to think that all this comes from sand, it's incredible. And if you treat yourself and you go into s and, and see how they produce the stuff, it's also fantastic. When I visit the factory in Turkey that does the glass, the thing that I, was, that I enjoyed most is the conveyor belt with all the rejects that you know, there's two people seeing, looking at the piece, and if it's good, they put it in the boxes. If it's not, they put it on a conveyor belt, and then it gets destroyed. And uh, this is amazing. I mean, amazingly beautiful uh, things. An endless supply of glasses that, for you and me, would be perfect, but someone decided that they're not perfect. They store them the way they break, and then they're recycled. Um, so there's, the glass has a lot of beauty, whether it's man-made, whether it's by accident, whether I make it. Grazie, Ronarat. Thank you, Ronarat. Thank, Thank you. you.